Researchers at the Lawson Health Institute have discovered harmful effects that vaping can have on the lungs. CTV's Jen Bassa on the new study showing how vaping could affect a critical part of the lungs that helps us breathe. With minimal research on the effects of e-cigarettes, the research team at the Lawson Health Institute discovered that inhaling e-liquids can damage a critical layer of the lungs. Once we started thinking about vaping, we realized that one of the first materials that the vapor or the aerosol comes in contact with when people inhale the vapor is the surfactant material. Without that material, it would be much more difficult for people to breathe on their own. The damage that is being done, even acutely, may make people more susceptible to lung pneumonias, COVID, or other, other illnesses. Just as a you know, young person in general, I'm very you know, aware of the prevalence of vaping. I have lots of you know, friends who vape, and I got even more interest, interested just sort of finding out about how little was actually out there about vaping already. As the first author of the study, Watson says they placed surfactant inside a syringe. Then using a vape, they pushed aerosol into the syringe, mimicking inhaling and exhaling vapor into the syringe 30 times as a person would while vaping. A lot of people do underestimate vaping right now, and a lot of kids actually refer to it as, you know, flavored air. So mm -hmm. they really just don't seem to grasp or really care about, you know, the damages it could be doing. So. While examining different types of vaping flavors and additives, they found that menthol e-liquids have worse effects on the lungs. And their work isn't done yet, as researchers will continue to investigate the effects on the lungs and how to treat it. Jen Bassa, CTV News.